Well, I think every high school, whether it be a public high school, um, a private high school has the same challenges when it comes to the amount of people you're serving. So I would say football is not the most important thing on campus, but it's the most impactful because it affects so many different people. So we're dealing with 110 student athletes, 20 to 30 coaches, uh, and you have a lot of stuff. You have multiple uniforms, home away, JV, uh, freshman, practice gear, 100 plus helmets, all your uh, equipment that you need to run the operation. And then many schools don't have space. This room was a disaster two years ago. It was piled high with used equipment, stepovers, ropes, you know, old rusted weights. And although there were some things in here that did have value and we still use today, there was no structure or pattern to how it was organized. It was just kind of thrown into the room at the back and the stuff you kept or wanted to use repeatedly was towards the front. Uh, but as you got to the back of the room, there were things in there that no one really knew why they were in there. When the new staff came in, we really wanted to run this operation like a small college or at the college level. And we knew that the way equipment and the way our uniforms and helmets and shoulder pads was gonna to have to be handled, we had to increase the efficiency of the operation. And this was a room that the space wasn't really being maximized. Patterson Pope came in and they created these shelving units in this system for us that definitely helped increase our efficiency and the way we do things on a day-to-day -day basis. So in the fall when myself or someone else is in here daily, it's become systematic and we've been able to improve our efficiencies and our equipment operations and really save on costs and time and, and man hours because of what they were able to do for us. One of the big things we really wanted to do is still leave some open space for us to be able to operate and move these rolling racks and still have some somewhat of a workstation as we're in here. So what we decided to do is to put everything flush against the walls and create this center area that allowed us to operate and still fit a lot of people in here. So one of the really unique things that Patterson Pope does is each shelf has the flexibility to be customized however we want it. So if we want our shelves to fit really tall, long, um, and vertical type items, we can do that. We can take the shelves out, store tall tents in there or uh, really long pieces of equipment. Or if we want to create kind of more of those, you know, standard shelves that you see and fit a lot of bins and cabinets in there, we can do that. So the customization that Patterson Pope allows with these shelving units is huge and being able to store that in an efficient way and a way that's easy to access uh, is really invaluable um, because for us it's you know we're all about getting better year after year after year and you know if we want to add a new unit or do some more customization we can do that with Patterson Pope and you know, three or four years from now when we have eight different uniform combinations, it's going to fit just perfectly because we're able to continuously reconfigure the way this room is and still maximize the space that we have. And one, I think there's a hygiene aspect to it, right? You have enough storage so your helmets stay clean. They're not stuffed in some closet where there's mildew and, and grossness, just use that term. Uh, your jerseys have a hanging system, so they're the hygiene of that barrier. All your practice gear is organized um, after it's been washed at the end of the season. Um, the bin systems allow you to keep it in an in a environment where it's going to stay clean, not get dusty and gross. Um, from a coaching staff, you know, our director of operations, our equipment manager, other coaches, uh, it's efficient because they know where everything is. So you run your program more efficiently if you're not diving through closets and lifting up this to find that. Um, I mean, I can go on and on and on. And I think for our kids, ultimately, we want, we tell them, you know, how you do small things is the way you do all things. So we want to represent as a staff too. We want to be organized. We want to be detailed in what we do. 
uh, almost OCD in our approach. So your storage systems, pretty much every part of your operation has to be dialed in because that's what you're preaching to the kids. If you're preaching that to the kids and they see, they see laziness on the staff, they see clutter, they see chaos, there's a disconnect there. So I think both things have to work together. So you have to take closets, you have to take storage bins and turn them into functional space. And that's what the storage solution did for us was it was able to streamline everything uh, and also add some cool bells and whistles with the branding. So uh, we were able to take space that was really not being used, not practical and turn it into really functional, um, flashy kind of sizzly space. We're asking them to live uncommon lives. You know, our motto is be set apart. So everything fits under this 30,000 foot umbrella core value of living a life that's set apart. Be uncommon. Well, if that's what you're preaching and that's your whole curriculum is built around that, you better be representing that as a staff. How we dress, how we talk, how we store stuff. Everything has a place and your job is to put it back in place. If everything is put back in place, when you're done with it, then you're never cleaning up. Again, it's the way you do small things is the way you will do all things. So have an eye for the small things, have an eye for the details, have an eye for organization, have an eye for the best uses of space. You start living that pattern at 16, 17, 18 years old, you're gonna live that way at 30, you're gonna live that way at 40, you're gonna live that way at 50. Uh, that's really what we're asking these kids to do.